My friends, we're all about high-end gaming on this channel. We're all about fancy PC builds, whether it's my personal build right behind me, Project Mercury, or it's my streaming setup that you can see right here. You might be tempted to spend thousands of dollars on a PC setup in order to get really good gaming performance. And that used to be the case. But thanks to today's video sponsor, NVIDIA GeForce Now, you can now play on some of the lowest specs imaginable and get really competitive frame rates at really high settings. And today's videos specifically focused on this baby. This, my friends, is a Chromebook. This is one of the cheapest devices you can get on the market right now, and it has an Intel Celeron N4000. It also only has four gigabytes of LPDDR4 RAM and an Intel UHD 600. But fortunately, those are the minimum specs that you need for GeForce Now. And as you can see right here, we are currently playing The Witcher 3 on GeForce Now, streaming this over the internet, and I am hitting 81 FPS. You see right here, I'm hitting between 70 and 80 FPS. That is at 1080p, ultra details, with Hairworks turned on to the maximum amount, and you can see that it's actually really good looking, it actually plays really decently, and gives you the experience that you would want. So that's the big reason for today's video. NVIDIA is launching GeForce Now officially on Chromebook. You'll be able to stream hundreds of games that you wanna play on your Chromebook. And I actually showcased this on our live stream yesterday on Twitch, and I tried to have my audience guess what I was playing on. I didn't tell them because it wasn't officially out, but they got to see the frame rate and the game that I was playing, and it was on GeForce Now the entire time. 1660 Ti with a 9600K, incorrect. Ryzen 3 3300X with the 5600 XT, not even close. 4800U with the 2060 Max-Q, nope. 100 FPS in Fortnite at max settings, not a problem. Playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey, easy. 100 FPS average in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, done. GeForce now allows you to have high-end graphics on nearly any device that you could dream of, and now with them launching on Chromebooks, you can even implement it on something that you would get for university or something for just on-the-go travel. And I personally, you guys will know this from watching our hot news videos, actually really appreciate GeForce now from their approach to how they go for streaming, which is you purchase the games yourself, they don't have a storefront, but instead you use things such as your Steam library, or your Epic Games library, or your Uplay library. You use games that you already own, and then you can stream them for GeForce Now. They have both a free version as well as the Founders Edition membership. So both the free membership and the Founders membership give you access to 1080p 60fps gameplay streaming over Wi-Fi. You are going to need decent Wi-Fi to do this, but the device actually almost doesn't matter. With the free membership, you get standard access and a one-hour session length so that you can jam whatever game you want, and then you can requeue up for another session length if there is server room available. With the Founders membership, which is at a promotional price of $5 a month for 12 months, which is a great steal there, you get priority access on the servers, you get a extended session lengths up to six hours, and you get to play with RTX on for whatever games are going to support that. They also have a brand new special offer, which is slightly cheaper because you can sign up for a six month bundle and it'll actually save you about five bucks over that six months. And you get all of the Founders perks, plus a Hyperscape Season 1 Battle Pass and some exclusive in-game items. It's a decent deal. And they're continually changing their library. GeForce Now provides an update every Thursday to the games that are being implemented on the platform so that you can stay up to date on what is actually being put on here. But whether you want to play Fortnite, League of Legends, Warframe, Metro Exodus, any of those, it actually works pretty decently. I played some Fortnite on stream yesterday, and even though I suck at the game, the actual input latency from how I'm playing on the Chromebook to the Fortnite servers actually didn't affect me at all. That's probably because I'm not trash. But also, if I only have a Chromebook for video gaming, it's a much better experience than you're going to get otherwise because there is no other experience. GeForce Now is the way that you're going to be able to play games at high-end settings wherever you are on these devices. So you can check the link in the video description to find out more about GeForce Now. You can click the link to find out more about how you can get GeForce Now on the Chromebook. You can sign up for either the free membership or I would personally recommend the Founders membership because it is only $4.99 a month for 12 months at that introductory pricing. And that's such a good deal for the type of streaming solution that NVIDIA is providing here. So big thanks to NVIDIA for sponsoring this video. You know, in any video where I talk about the future of cloud gaming, GeForce Now is highly recommended 
recommended by me. I actually really like cloud gaming and I especially like the way that NVIDIA is implementing it. So check it out down below in the video description and we'll see you in the next video.